Okay, we got a street review. This is the Padilla Finest Hour. Uh, coming in Robusto 5x52. Sour pack. Uh, pick this up uh, in the four pack of AJ Fernandez slash Padilla cigars. Uh, I think at the MSRP, but what I got in the four pack was about $7 a piece. Very high quality looking. The smell is phenomenal. It's got slight funk and sweetness and spicy kind of smell on the foot. It smells like a phenomenal cigar. It's a sun grown. Allegedly, a uh, nice pack, nice weight for its size. And we're talking about uh, Nicaraguan Puro as far as the primings, seed, I, I, I don't know. But it, I can already tell it's AJ. I'm smelling it, and it looks phenomenal. I got high hopes on this baby. Don't disappoint me. Okay, absolutely. Uh, the cigar's a winner. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you and say it's as good as the 88th anniversary and not talking about because of the wrapper and just as a cigar but as a cigar this is a phenomenal cigar solid 4.6 still highly recommend this cigar i mean there were some real winners the 88th and this cigar here the the finest hour uh sun grown winner man medium full and strength jaw is great it's a very nice bready sourdough note lots of spice lots of black pepper spice classic aj there's a brighter spice to it as well baking spices um there's like a little bit of a lemon zest to it as well citrus note which is very nice there's of course classic a uh, aj earthiness going through as well so all in all a nice complex rich heavy cigar a medium full how dark about 65 percent Holding the smoke, not really a jalapeno, it's more of a red cayenne, kind of pepper, that kind of stuff. So all in all, it has a complex uh, spice that is strong, it is delicious, um, and I'm highly enjoying it. Um, it would be a 4.6. I would be a five pack worthy. We definitely worth checking it out. Uh, uh, if you see these in these bundles, uh, like in bundles, in these four packs, the Sun Grown and that of 88th, uh, you're going to really enjoy it. Uh, they, are, they are available by the box. So if you like more of a sun grown, you might like this. It's not for the newbies. It's on the stronger side, but it's delicious. It's not disappointing. Uh, I'm going to go for a walk with this, and I'll come back uh, from another park bench, and uh, we'll see what happens. The cigar's going to be a winner, man. It's going to stay at a 4.6. I had a solid uh, interpretation of the cigar. I like the way it represented itself. If you're looking for like a medium full cigar, 70%, between 65 and 70 because they get a little darker a little stronger in the beginning somewhere between there but i, I guess a darker sun grown experience if you like something like that you're definitely gonna like this great flavor profile it has a good sweetness to it definitely a lot of spice classic very aj earthiness um and you could say well i guess it's just another aj but i guess i guess it's that's just another good day that i didn't have to use my aj 47 Anyways, but um, it, 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 it is a good blend. I recommend it. It has some nice bready notes as well. Um, I think it was just a cool cigar uh, with a good blend. And I uh, can't say nothing bad about it. 4.6, five-pack worthy. Uh, Padilla, AJ Fernandez, Sun Grown, Finest Hour. It's definitely worth a shot. If you see a four-pack, check it out. Uh, make sure it's not too wet. It does come with a bovada in that shit. Later, guys. Stay fresh.